What's up everybody, B-Boy Spaz here. And now that I have Ableton 8, let's actually take a quick look at some of the new instruments and kind of, you know, get used to them, get a quick overlay. Today we're actually going to look at um, the drum racks, which is actually a really cool new device in Ableton for using your drums and things. Um, so if you're new to Ableton, to get to your drum rack, it'll actually be over here on the left side. And you're going to want to put it on a MIDI track. So as you see, I have a MIDI track. Here's my drum rack. I'm going to take it just drag it on here. And there it is. So the nice thing about the drum rack, as you see here, is it's actually laid out like an MPC or MPD or any of those drum pads. So for all you people out there who are using drum pads, this is going to feel right at home. It's going to feel really nice. Um, you have your different macro settings here. You can do a lot with that. We're not going to cover it at all today. You have your different banks here, which you can actually just drag your sounds into. And here on the side, you have your different sets. So almost like octaves, really. So I can just pick where I want to lay out my drums. And just remember, every time you bank up, it's still set to all your drum pads, which is nice. So like I said, again, you can just drag your drum sounds in here and start playing them. So let me go ahead and grab a couple sounds. Let's see what I got up in here. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put that as my kick. So I don't have a drum pad or anything, but I just use a keyboard. Still works fine for me. Put a snare on there. Put an extra little snare sound. You know, just kind of you lay your stuff out. Do whatever you want to with it. So that's really cool. But another nice thing about drum rack is actually these different options over here. So as you see, you have your chain list and you have your devices. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the chain list and the devices. So when you have your devices open, which is actually this section here on the right, this is where you can actually affect each sound individually depending on which one you have selected. So for instance, I have whatever this sound is, the shaker, I believe, selected. And over here, I can make any type of changes to just that sound alone that I want to. So I can um, change the start point of it, make it loop, turn on a filter, the spread, transpose it. So different things like that. And that's really cool because you can come up with a lot of just different creativity for your sounds. Have the same sound doing all kinds of crazy things. Also over here in the chain list is where you can start playing around with the um, volume and the panning of those sounds individually. But one thing I love is that you actually can do that as well up here at the top. So you see when we have the drum rack you actually get this new little triangle. And when you open it up, it will actually show you all of your different sounds laid out. So they're all separated. That's pretty cool when it comes to mixing. Also, you have the choke option. That's good for hi-hats. Basically, you can tell a certain note, MIDI note, so like C, and tell it that when this note is triggering, choke the other one. So when you're doing things like open hi-hats, you can have it so when you hit the hi-hat again, the hi-hat automatically closes. So let me just pull up another file real quick just to show you how it looks when you kind of mess around with the drums and things and with the drum rack. So here on the left, I actually have a group. This is all my drums. When it's open, here are all the sounds that I'm running with my drums. And here's my drum rack. And I can open that up as well. And then here are all the sounds in the drum rack.
So if I stop everything else real quick, and let's just listen to the drum rack. Got all the mixing there. I can open up this other stuff at the bottom. My chain list, my devices. And just remember, when you're looking at the device and the chain list, this is where you can actually add effects to each separate drum sound as well. But like I said, again, we'll get into that later because right now we just want to look at it. So just remember, make yourself a mid track, draw the drum rack in there and just play around with it. It's really, really nice. Um, there's a whole bunch we could cover. So don't forget, subscribe to the page. I'm definitely going to cover some more on the drum racks. We'll look at um, more intense stuff. And I'm going to keep making tutorials. I know I've been gone for a minute, but trust me, I got more time now. We're definitely going to get some tutorials up in there. So subscribe to the page so you don't miss out. And if you have any questions, just shoot them my way. All right. Peace.